We really do do things in a big way on Wombat and how much bigger can you get? Today on the program we've got Shiloh with us and her owner Steve Rhodes. Steve, thanks for coming up and showing us Shiloh on Wombat. Now she's an Irish wolfhound but does she actually come from Ireland? Do they originate there? Yeah, uh, they go back into medieval days actually. Um, they were very highly esteemed as hunting dogs and war dogs and uh, the Irish used to use them to hunt the Irish wolf and they hunted them into extinction and they hunted the Irish stag and the Irish elk into extinction too and in the process they almost became extinct themselves because there's nothing left for them to hunt so an Englishman called Captain Graham collected the last scattered remnants uh, from around the countryside and he re built the breed up again. Well, people can probably hear another little whimper in the background, and I'll show you why. Because Shiloh's got five pu Has she only got five at Yeah, the she's moment? only got five. Five puppies, five. and would you believe, how old are they? Six weeks. <laughs> they look really like about a three-month-old regular puppy, don't they? That's right, yes, they're whopping dogs. <laughs> Would Shiloh weigh? She's really she, huge. Yes, uh, we can't find a set scales big enough to weigh her on, but we reckon she weighs a couple of hundred pounds. How high would she be? Will she's, we have a look yeah, at her? Yeah, actually, she's th 36 inches at the shoulder, which is very big. You know, in fact, we think she's the biggest female wolfhound in Australia. Pop up, Shiloh. Stand up. Does she? How much would she eat? Because she's so huge. Yeah, well, she's very economical to feed. Um, just one margarine scoop of dry food and a bit of meat. And that's all she needs because even though she's big, she's got a small stomach. Oh, she doesn't and, feel like getting up. <laughs> and, uh, Shiloh, so, stand up. That'd be more, stand up, Shiloh. That's what, it'd be more expensive to actually feed a Labrador or German Shepherd or Doberman than just to feed Shiloh. Obviously, if you have a, an Irish wolfhound, you'd have to have quite a bit of space, do they? Need yes, um, even though they're bits of lazy dogs, they still need... Um, a good walk, you know, in the morning and evening, and a pretty big yard. Right. Um, anyone buying one would have to have a fair yard and be prepared to exercise it. Does but she ever, you know, a lot of dogs come and bound up on you and stand up. Does she ever do that? <laughs> uh, not really. She, she, she's, uh, she looks very spectacular when she bounds along the beach or through the bush, but uh, that's only when she's excited. By and large, she won't jump on you or anything. Very upset, aren't you? <laughs> now, the colours are quite different with the pups. This one's got little white paws here. Yeah. How many different colours do they come yeah, in? Yeah, well, they come in a range of, like, this one, this creamy colour, uh, through to um, that silvery, and then a red, um, this one here. This with, one's with almost his, like a little tiger. Yes, with his tiger stripes. And then there's a sort of steely grey, too. This one um, here will probably be steely grey, I guess. But their colours change as they grow. You know, they can either darken or fade. Because she was quite dark as a pup, and then she faded to this colour. Right. She's really, really gorgeous, isn't she? <laughs> well, look, thanks for bringing them up. They're just adorable little things. Thank you, Shiloh. And just for coming up, we've got a really nice present for you. I don't know how. I don't know how she'll share it out with all the pups. Thanks oh, very much, Carol. Love it. Oh yes, yes, I'll appreciate this. Thanks. <laughs>